This is take three. I'll have to uh, do uh, three different ones so far. The first one didn't work, the second one was boring as hell. So we're going to have to go through it again. I'll probably do, um, uh, in the last video, I spent about two minutes setting Mitch up, try, trying to get into call, so we talk about how much he spent $46 on uh, Eric Ebron. But he won't call me, and I've told him that I need help with an American Express Avios application. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, somewhere in there. So I'm waiting for him to call me any minute. As soon as he's got, got kids around. So this is a uh, child friendly one. Luckily. Nat West. Nat West. Okay. Get to the good stuff. Hopefully, Mitch's going to call any minute. And we'll get his feelings. He's probably going to hate me now because he's, he's, he's in the cafeteria. But. Nah. Get to the good stuff. If there is any. Week three. Um, I should have been in KP, but he edit he hacked into my lineup and edited it and benched all my good players. Not cool bro, but I'll let you get away with it. Brock beat Mitch, JC beat Paul. Paul actually did a good uh, fight back actually. After JC went huge yap, didn't he? After the Thursday night game. I think um Paul made a good game out of that. Losing with 118 points as well is a uh, that's pretty that's pretty harsh. Paul deserved to win that one. Not as much as I deserve to beat KP, but that's cool. Mmm, sausage managed to win even though he's got the worst team in the world. 103 points. Don't know how Neil did it, but he managed 26 points from TY Hilton, 25 points from Sammy Watkins. He got zero points, 0 0.5 points from his defence and 2.2 .2 points from his tight end and he still won. I don't get it. Uh, well, what happened? Grondelau had the second lowest score with uh, 54 points. Hello, it's a tea you're looking for. That was quite a nice cup of tea. Bot lost again. I went free, bro. Not cool. I went free and bottom. <laughs> Only by 18 points difference between me and Bot at the bottom. Shocking, isn't it? Absolutely shocking. He lost to Abdul, bro. <laughs> Even though Abdul would have beaten me. But Abdul would have beaten KP last week as well. So, go back. Um, Montgomery done. Got done. He really drew the short straw on that one. Almost scored 100 points. And still lost. That was a tough one, wasn't it? And Simba and Shrek in, in quite a nice match, I would see. But... No one really cares about Shim Shimba, 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 Simba versus Shrek. Let's get to the waivers, that's where the good stuff is. Check out the bids. Eric Ebon, $46 by Mitch this morning. The next closest one was $3 by me. But, what can I say? Good job, Mitch. It's been half your budget, mate, on someone that no one else wanted. But hey, why not? Mercedes Lewis, I've been three touchdown games. Jolly waded right in, picked him up, even though he's done nothing in the other two games, and cut Eric Ebron, which led to Mitch doing the forty-two dollars. So it's quite a good, uh, quite a handy little storyline there. Thanks, bro. Obviously, I signed Josh Gordon yesterday. Always good. I, on this time, this day last year. Fun fact for you, actually cut Josh Gordon and that's when he went into rehab and now he's out of rehab and now he's ready to come back in the league. Back straight in my lineup. Probably won't even play a game this year, but hey, who cares? What else happened? Uh, Marlon Max bouncing around, isn't he? Like a beach ball at a Nickelback concert. Um, JD McKissick, I've no idea who that guy is. Picked up by work guy. Cool. Elijah Maguire, I only ever heard about him about a day ago, but I've got him now. George Kittle, who is this guy? No one knows. Bruce Ellington, cool. Bruce Ellington, oh yeah, seven targets last week. That's not bad, and a touchdown. Actually, yeah, I know. Was he Was he the guy who went from 49ers? And then they introduced him as a running back instead of a wide receiver? State or no? 
say, let us know in the comments, bro. Cheers. Yeah, all over me. Um, Kerwin Williams got dropped, so yeah, this is good. Grundle, twenty dollars. That's one fifth of his budget on September the thirteenth. September twenty sixth. Cut. That is savage, bro. Absolutely savage. Couldn't even. Uh, Thing. Jalen Strong still not signed. That's bad, isn't it? Who's um who's Brandon Love got on his bench anyway? Yeah, so he's opted to have Danny Woodhead, who's injured. Oh yeah. Marlon Mack injured as well. Deshaun Kaiser, the backup quarterback, James Connor. And not stick with Kerry Williams. That was savage, man. But actually I've got Grandel out this week, so They'll probably will score touchdowns. Ryan Griffin got a breakout game, out of four. Oda Beckham Jr. will score about seven touchdowns and get flagged for every one of them. But that's good. It's good to see about my uh, team here. I'm looking good. I'm seeing lots of green, which is always good. Fun fans on there. TV, my boy. Cooper Cup. It's time to uh, two guys, one cups in the. Uh, have I got any? Nah, still got Paul Perkins, though. That's cool, isn't it? Paul Birkins currently with his season high of 22 yards. Nine carry, though. <laughs> Paul Birkins will take on the Buccaneers this Sunday, but his biggest opponent may be his own backfield. Oh, cool. What does that even mean? He should not be in fantasy lineups. I'll stick him in mind then. Why not? Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Anyone else getting some trades from Mitch recently? Be good to know. Uh, hang on. I got one. I got one earlier. Just trying to give me um, Terence West. Anyone else getting a Terence West trade? Like every hour from Mitch. Yep, I am. But at least, at least it's not Jesse James anymore. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? It's about it, really, isn't it? I think it'd be good. Uh, this week's matchups, me and Grundle. I need to win there, otherwise I'm completely done. Mitch and Chaz. Yeah, that's what, that'd be a close one. Smellis, even, even though it's 0-3, he's projected, projected 110 points. Whereas Abdul was projected 103. Imagine if Abdul upsets the, uh, runs the table from now on. Let's have a look at your schedule. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Um, so he's got, I oh, so he's got Paul this week, then Jolly next week, Chapa the Hut Hut, so Jamie, and then Montgomery done, uh, so he doesn't play the nose until week eight, so he could run the table for a couple of weeks, and get back in the, um, the thing, and after that, his schedule's not too bad, plays me week 12, so that's an easy win for him, go from there, what have we got? I think we drop players, what are trades? I think we're good. Um, got to do it. Got to do some sort of quiz, won't we? Hang on. Let's have a look. Jolly. <laughs> Jolly, Mercedes Lewis. All right. How many touchdowns is Mercedes Lewis good at playing? How many targets will Mercedes Lewis get in week four? Let us know in the uh, comments. If you get it right, you get absolutely nothing. But if you get it wrong, I get to shame you in next week's video, which will be quite fun, but that's about it.